setting up a strategic time as the start of a 24-hour workday is a simple way to make your schedules, timesheets, and payroll reports easier to understand. Simply click on the gear symbol in the upper right. Select Settings, then Schedules. You'll see the 24-hour workday is initially set to begin at 7 a.m. Here's why. Many commercial cleaning businesses schedule their work in the evening, and many nights the work runs past midnight. So rather than have the schedules and timesheets show two different dates, it can be convenient to set the workday to run from 7 a.m. until 7 a.m. the next day. By doing so, even when the work scheduled for the night runs into the next morning, let's say for example, on February 1st, a floor crew starts working in one building from 9 p.m. until midnight, and then they travel over to their next building scheduled for that evening from 1 to 3 a.m. All the schedules and timesheets would still show the workday as February 1st, which is practical and understandable since all the hours were really part of the work to be performed during that crew's shift for that night. So again, while midnight to 7 a.m. would normally be listed as the next calendar day, February 2nd, using a workday approach instead, showing it as still part of February 1st, can make schedules, timesheets, and payroll reports easier to understand based on how most cleaning companies really schedule work. We think many janitorial businesses who give this approach a try will quickly find out how convenient and practical the 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. workday approach is. However, if a member wants to change the start time or use a traditional 12 midnight to 12 midnight workday, they can here in settings.